lithium batteries forbidden for transport. A lot of power in this one box. Let's check it out. Packaged up really good. Look at this thick layer of foam. Oh, thing ain't moving in there. That way, you know you're getting a good product in one piece. There she is. Beauty. So, what made me decide to go with Ionic Lithium? Um, I've been an AGM guy, uh, lead acid guy for a long time. And the reason I stuck with them was price, affordability. Um, I knew what I was getting. And uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, this last tournament, I started having battery issues. I started losing battery at the end of the day. It almost cost me my whole entire first day's weight because my cranking battery died to the point that I could not... Uh, make it to weigh in and I got it jumped just in time and made it in with three seconds to spare and it really got me thinking a lot about making the change and AGMs and um, lead acid batteries have been going up in price they just keep creeping up in price and lithiums have actually been going down in price and when I was looking at it I was looking at it from a uh, aspect that if I can solve that problem of not having enough juice at the end of the day, um, then it would be worth the cost. And I'm gonna uh, stitch right here what the price difference is between uh, lithiums and the AGMs and lead acids. You can see it's not that much of a difference to jump up. If you're getting a new set of batteries, you know, you can, you can justify it for what you're getting because as you'll see in this video, um, Lithiums are so much lighter. I'm taking a lot of weight out of my boat by switching over to lithiums, and that's going to be a huge um, cost saving in my fuel efficiency throughout the day. You know, I'm not, my boat's not going to be as heavy. I'm going to take basically a 150 to 200 pound guy out of my boat. Um, I'll be able to save time on the water. In tournaments, we only have eight hours a day to get our job done. So, Every minute that I can save is giving me more casts to be able to try to win that tournament. Um, and then also, uh, from the power perspective, if if I can go and fish all day, have a, a tournament or practice, and accidentally forget to plug in my batteries that uh, night and be able to fish the next day because I have that much reserve power, that's going to be huge. So... Um, the, the main reason I chose Ionic uh, is word of mouth. Um, I did a lot of research. There's a lot of companies out there. There's a lot of companies I never heard of. There's a lot of companies that have built a name for themselves. Ionic's one of them. Um, but I had a good buddy of mine, uh, Adam Lester. He's running Ionic batteries. He's a boat mechanic. That's what he does for a living. And he's running Ionic batteries. I have another uh, good buddy of mine, William Page, who actually owns a body shop and has been working on cars his entire life. So if he trusts the product, it's a product that I can trust. So I wasn't getting into this blindly. Um, I've done a lot of research on Ionic um, and other companies for that matter. And having some good word of mouth to point me in the direction of Ionic. Um, also Todd Walters. He's a pro that uh, fishes the invitationals with me. Great dude, great friend of mine. Um, he vouched for him and has been using them for many, many years. So all those great um, people telling me great things about these batteries, I feel comfortable and confident knowing that I'm making the switch. I'm making the switch into something good. So let's get these installed and stick along. All right, so this is what I'm going to be running. I've got two 125s. One is going to be for my electronics. As you know, I run the C Clear Power Harness for my electronics. I got four Lowrance units. I'm gonna be running off of one battery. And then I've got another one that's gonna be my cranking 
auxiliary, you know, lights, bilge, uh, power poles, everything else will be on this one. And then I've got my three 100s that are gonna be in sequence to give me my uh, 36 volt trolling motor. I'm running the power pole move. So this right here will be a great system for that. And then like the power pole move, uh, just like the Minn Kota's and the Lowrance goes, um, if one of them goes bad for some reason, which I don't plan on it happening, but if it does, you got a worst case scenario, you know, back, back up that you can take that one battery out of the sequence and then run it as a 24 volt system. So that's a, that's a good uh, way to have it. Three separate 12 volts. Then I got my Ionic charger, which will charge four of those batteries. And then I will have a separate charger for my electronics. So that's the setup. Let's get it in. Say hi to my dad. My dad's helping me. We're going to weigh these things up and just see exactly how much weight we're getting. Because that's one of the big selling points of lithiums. 26.6 for the ionic lithium. All right, now we're going to weigh the Interstate AGM 31 that I had in my boat. 70.5. Wow, that's a huge reduction. Oh, they're bubbles. They'll get them. All right, so let me show you a little more detailed what I've got set up here, okay? So, there's the charger. I hung it vertically. That way I can see all of the lights. I don't know if you can see it as good as I can, but I can see the four lights for the four banks, um, and that's to charge my three trolling motor batteries, that one, that one, and that one. And my cranking battery, which is up underneath there, tucked under there. And that's got all, so that's my cranking, all of my live wells, bilge, auxiliaries, everything, power poles, everything is on that battery, that cranking battery. Then I've got an extra battery. And as you can see, C clear power, my power harness. Um, this one, I haven't got the charger for yet. What I'm gonna do, so I could run these two batteries in parallel. A lot of guys do that. Uh, I did it on my AGMs, so I know how to do it, um, and that makes them a hundred, I mean, two hundred and fifty amp hours because you're 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 keeping it a twelve volt system, but you are taking the two batteries, running a connector from negative to negative, positive to positive, um, to make them just basically one big battery, and. Maybe flip the camera around real quick. So what that does is that allows you to have double capacity out of your batteries. But there's two downfalls to that. One is charging. It takes you twice as long to charge, okay? Because you've got twice as much battery. Um, and the second thing is those batteries tend to stabilize and equalize and to be the same no matter what. And I want my batteries to be separate. And the reason I want them to be separate, I want my cranking battery to be one, and I want my um, electronics battery to be one, separate from each other. That way, if I run into an issue where I've drained my cranking battery down, just completely drained it down, um, I had a, my bilge, lock in on position or um I, I left my lights on whatever completely kills my cranking battery i want to have a battery separate as a backup as an assurance policy and that's what i'm gonna have with my um electronics battery as you saw they're sitting right next to each other so it'd be super simple for me to jump off of the other one to get juice to crank it up 
it would be super simple to actually take a, those two nuts off and um, just switch the cables around and get that extra, the, the electronics battery as my cranking battery. So it's a, it's a fail safe, it really is. Um, that's what I'm gonna be running because I, I just don't, I don't want any issues out there. You know, you, you spend a little bit more money to get awesome batteries. You want to try to get rid of every issue you can. And that's another one that I'm going to get rid of. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a separate charger, a um, NOCO single bank 10 amp charger for my trolling motor, I mean my, for my electronics battery. Um, and I'm going to run it separate. And that way it's just a, it's just a fail safe. If I have a charger issue, if I have a charger uh, problem, which I don't expect I will, but if I do, you know, it's, it's not very good odds that both of my chargers, um, that I'm going to plug up at night, that both of them are going to have an issue. So that's why I'm going to do that. Uh, it's just double reassurance that I'm not going to have an issue out on the water and that'll give me a ton of power for all my needs. So that's what I'm running. So I just got them fully installed. I plugged up the charger and I'm going to show you on my phone what the Ionic app looks like and what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm going to screen time it, but it's pretty cool. It's a very simple app. It only took like two seconds to download it because it obviously is not a huge app. Um, here, let me turn the screen time on so y'all can see exactly what I'm looking at. But here, here's the Ionic Lithium Batteries app. And you can see right here, it's showing the five batteries I have in. Um, if you look, they're named by what they are, like 12 volt, 125, and then it has a four digit number assigned to that battery. So, um, for example, the second one right there is my cranking battery. I'm going to click on that one. So, the 0381. So, I click on it. Pops it up. And see, what it's showing is the 125 amp hours capacity. It's showing how, per, how charged it is. So, 89%. It's showing the remaining time to charge because as you can see in the bottom right it's showing that it's charging because i have it hooked up right now it's showing it's getting eight amps it's showing how many volts the battery has uh the power that must be the watts going into it and then the temperature of the battery so let me get out of this oh let me let me show you a couple more things on this so that is the basic info on the battery then you click on the UITC, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's the same, it's just the same breakdown of everything you just saw, but in like a uh, a different form, uh, a charted form. Um, and then if you click on the next one, this gives you all of the uh, different statuses. So the high voltage, low voltage, uh, overcurrent charging, everything, all your cells, your four cells, and then it shows the status of all of them. So they're all normal. So that means the battery's good. And then this right here is their uh, information. Uh, shows, you know, how you can get in touch with them if you have a problem. Pretty simple. Pretty pretty easy to understand app. But you click the arrow on the bottom. You go back out. It reconnects with all of them. will show you um, the different batteries so let me click on one of the 100s my troll motor batteries and just show you so let's do the 0115 up here top so click on that battery and there it goes it shows it's 85 percent charged it's 100 amp hour um, shows how long till it's fully charged um, shows how much energy it's getting charging all that so it's really simple uh, same things you can go through the different breakdowns um, go through the statuses for the checks and then goes back to your uh, information 
So there you have it. It's really simple, uh, really cool app. Um, took, like I said, no time to uh, download. So really simple. I mean, this technology, um, I'm kind of sad that I haven't had it until now because it's just it's just above and beyond to be able to sit uh, in the house and check my battery status on my phone and tell when it's done charging and then I come out here and unplug it and be be done be ready for the tournament um, it, it, that's just game changing it really is to be on the water and be able to actively see uh, how much percentage I have um, you know throughout the day be able to tell how much I'm losing throughout the day that's going to be so awesome to be able to just uh, get halfway through the day and just pull it up and see if, you know I've got 72 percent power left that's going to make me feel so good it's going to make the day just go that much smoother you know I have to worry about any cranking issues at the end of the day um, troll motor dying on you in the day and you'll be able to see that information and then you also be able to change it up you know if you if you see if you're fishing heavy current and and you're burning your trolling motor down then you can get to a point where you're like okay I need to change up a little bit because I'm not gonna have a troll motor for the next three hours if I, if I don't um, and that that's that's cool that's just it's just really you know more information you have the better angler you can be and a better time you can have on the water so really impressed with ionic super great product super cool app uh easy to connect and it like my dad was really surprised that it's it's all bluetooth so as soon as i downloaded the app and pulled the app up it found those five batteries and boom put it right on there so it does it automatically for you um it did ask if my phone could use bluetooth for that and it and i said yes and it and it did it so it's it's super simple anybody can do it uh, you don't have to overthink it you just get the products get the app you can you can set it up a, a child can set it up so really cool show you one more thing so here's one thing that ionic does a little different than other battery companies that i find is really really nice i really like this um a lot of lithium battery companies, they have a bolt. It's a bolt that goes down into the battery. Okay? Ionic does it just like the AGMs and lead acids that I just came from and several other good batteries. Um, they have a post. Post that comes out and then this nut secures your your you put the put the connectors on there and you secure it with that locking nut super convenient i love that um super easy to connect uh super solid connections that is one thing that i really love that ionic does different than some other lithium batteries